Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to save your workspace, but more specifically, how to save charts and organize your charts in the Sierra Chart Platform. Now, I think it's worth mentioning right from the beginning that all charts are saved and open through the chart book in the Sierra Chart Platform. Now, what exactly is a chart book? Well, if we head to the top left-hand corner of our window, and left click on the OC button, which also stands for open chart book, we'll notice a new window, an open chart book window populates on our screen. This is where we will be saving and opening all of our chart book files. So now that I've covered what the chart book is and where the chart book is located, I would like to show you this feature working in real time. So first up, we'll need to open up a chart. To do this, I'll go through the Find Symbol button, and I'll be opening up an intraday chart for the E-mini S&P 500 futures of June 2018. So this is great, but we typically notice that most of our traders will do some customization to the charts. So for example, it's entirely possible that a trader may wish to put an additional symbol on their main chart here. So to do this, we'll go to Analysis, Studies, Add Additional Symbol, Access to Settings, and under Input Value, we'll find our new symbol. So for my example, if I wanted to add the tick line for the S&P 500 futures, I would simply go down to Market Stats, find the tick, and we'll find the tick of the S&P 500. Click OK, Apply, And once this downloads, we will have the tick line for our E-mini S&P 500 future. So as you can see, our tick line has now been downloaded. And we have essentially two charts applied to one main chart. And now let's say we were done trading for the day. The typical process may be to close out this chart and then close out the platform. And next time we boot up again to re-download our chart, then reapply a study and then reapply the other chart so we have both charts, you can completely forget about this process. And that's what makes the chart book so convenient and easy. Now before actually saving your work, there's a couple other things that I'd like to mention. First up, if we take a look at the top left-hand corner of your window, directly underneath your connection bar, there should be a tab named chart, chart book one or chart book two. This is the current chart book we currently have open. Now we can have multiple chart book tabs located along this ribbon, but the one that is highlighted blue is the one that is currently open. So as you can see, we currently have chart book two open. Now, if we take a look in the bottom left-hand corner of the window, this is where our open charts are located. As you can see, we currently have open one chart which tab is highlighted in blue. Now you can have multiple charts within one chart book, but the chart that is highlighted blue, as before, is the one that is currently open. Now that being said, let's say we're a trader and it's coming to the end of the day. We've made some decent progress customizing our chart and we'd like to save our current progress in our current layout of the charts we currently have open. There are two locations in which you can save a chart onto a chart book. The first method is by accessing the file tab in the top left hand corner of the window and then going down to save as. As I mentioned before, we currently have chart book two open. Let's say for example, I wanted to name this Optimus Demo. Save your file name, the file type, and then click save. Now, by clicking on the CC button, the close chart book button, we can close out our current chart book. Once again, you get a confirmation if you would like to save. Since we already just did that, I will click on no. And now we are back to a blank workspace. Now to re-access our chart book, Go back to the ribbon located to the right of your connection bar, 
but this time click on OC, which stands for Open Chart Book. Once you've clicked on this, we will find the chart book that we saved, Optimus Demo. Simply highlight this and then click on Open in the bottom right hand corner. Once we open it, you can see our workspace is exactly how we left it off and we can continue working from this chart book. Now, as I mentioned before, it is possible to operate two chart books with multiple different workspaces located inside them. And as I also mentioned before, it is possible to save through another method other than the file tab. And I'll show both of you those right now. So if we head to the chart book ribbon located directly underneath the connection bar and right click within this ribbon, as you can see, we get a multitude of different options. We have the ability to open a new chart book from here. We can actually open an existing chart book from here, close a chart book from here, close all chart books, and we can save our progress through here as well. I'll open up a new chart book. So now we have chart book one open. Let's say for example, this time I wanted to open up multiple different charts, but not make any changes to them. So for example, I could open up this S and P 500 net volume. And then I could also open up another chart for, let's say, for example, the E mini S and P mid cap 400. And I'll open up another intraday chart. Now what differs from this is instead of applying an additional symbol to apply two charts into one, I now currently have two charts open within my chart book. And I can sw simply swap back and forth in between the two by clicking on the corresponding tabs in the bottom left hand corner. As you can see, I currently have two tabs representing two charts. The tab highlighted blue is the chart I currently have open. And let's say I like that setup. If I wanted to save my setup, this time I'll go through the chart book ribbon on the top here, right click, and click as save as. Now although our current chart book by default was open up to chart book one, this time I'll name it to Optimus 2. Click save. And now we have both my Optimus Demo chart book and my Optimus 2 chart book. Now the great thing about the chart book feature is the ability to swap back and forth between the two. The chart book highlighted blue is the one that you currently have open, as goes the same for the chart. And this is also great because you can have multiple workspaces with multiple charts when in those workspaces open all at one time and this way you have the ability to swap back and forth between them on the fly. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.